just in folks sky news says nasa's mission or the mission could still fail so okay everybody before we get too excited about nasa's asteroid deflection test we should recognize that humanity is very bad at predicting impacts got that i'm not that good at it yet this is what the report says so since 1988 our planet has been hit by more than 1200 asteroids larger than a meteor meter in size these weren't big enough to completely destroy the planet cause an extinction event scientists are certain there won't be anything like that for a hundred years but they're certainly big enough to cause some damage now oh, if you don't believe it look at the size of that thing did it most did he most did he deem did he dimorphos there's those little asteroids that are going around this one asteroid and these are also referred as satellites uh, even though they're asteroids they're a type of satellite planet or rock so that's an earth-based earth -based view of that but the of those impacts humanity only predicted five in advance maybe six if we want to be generous and count the object known as a 1000 oh, 106 FG a 106 FG which may simply have been a close approach but this accounts for less than 0.42 percent or 0.42 percent of all strikes on the planet we cannot deflect asteroids we don't know are there now I just want you to observe this picture for a second right about here you see where I'm circling you'll see two planets and I'll show you a filtered version of that in a second but look at this coming out and look how these beams so there's so much to you know deception going on we don't know even if this report is legit even those five asteroids that were detected ahead of impacting earth were discovered with just hours to spare so as they currently stand or detection systems have never offered more than a day's warning in advance though scientists hope and expect them to improve deployment of the dark spacecraft from the Falcon 9 second stage due to happen in about 10 seconds from now. The view you see from the second stage camera is the dark spacecraft. We're going to listen to hear the call out and watch for dark separation. So I've been showing you many times the um, sky machines, how they work, and how they hide literally asteroids. We've proven that with Phil's footage, which I'll show you some more new stuff. Um, Phil's pointed me in this direction so I went with it um, this little video I found has three objects and I can show you the spacecraft that opens up the starshade project um, which is to basically create these rings to hide now if it's not maybe it's alien I don't know you know maybe it's fallen angel uh, technology but just keep watching it's gonna take off in a minute and I did a little filtering so you guys a lot of you have seen this in different ways from the ground here you go. This is from space, supposedly. Start separation confirmed. And to those watching, you're witnessing a successful deployment of the DART spacecraft. The impact of the DART spacecraft with the small asteroid Dimorphos is scheduled to happen sometime between the end of September and early October in 2022. So that's quite a ways off. What? 22? Oh my God. Is scheduled to happen sometime between the end of September and early October in 2022. It's scheduled to happen sometime between the end of September and early October in 2022. Can't trust in man to get this done. Gotta trust in God. Come on, people. Start praying.
Okay, I'm just going to show you a few of the things that Phil's showing us about the Sky Machines, what they're hiding. So you look right here, and this is just regular. Um, let's see how big this is. His stuff is pretty good quality, way up there. Remember, he's got his house. Okay, this is three three K um, nine. Wow, it's pretty big. Three thousand by three thousand. It's three K going up four K. Okay, so what we see here. Let's go back. What we see here. Just a collection of objects. Rocks, meteors. I mean, you know, they're not telling the whole story. They're telling parts of the story. Kind of make you feel better. You know something. But this is what we're seeing. And Phil's constantly showing us these lenses. Um, and these objects hiding. See what I'm saying? Or are these moons? I don't know. I think they're part of the lens system, personally. Um, and so I'll do some more on this later. But right now, I just want you to see the coalition correlation with uh, what we've been looking at so there's a whole game going up a hide and seek going up there you know and so you see the rims now look at the rims when you watch the video with the um, round red and then another red and then another red remember we've seen that in Canada where two suns came up and then a red planet in between so you know it's they can't tell, I mean, can you imagine the panic if everybody knew an asteroid was coming in that could wipe out all America? There would be no life from that day on. So, because they can't do nothing, maybe they're just not saying nothing, so when it hits us, maybe a few of us, like myself, will be awake. Um, but, you know, we appreciate you, Phil. Thanks for, you know, all that you do out here. You get some of the best stuff, and you, you see, there's no hiding that right there. There's rocks. Okay, I'll give you some more in a minute. You're watching the CCTV Sky News Report. Well, that's great, right? I mean, when we we'll sit out here like a, a, a ping pong and on the river, people shooting at it with 12 J shotgun. <laughs> Not going to stop nothing. That timeline between Discovery and Impact offers significantly less wriggle room, wiggle room than five years between the DART mission getting approval at NASA and his schedule. Uh, Rendeza Vias with Demorphus next year. So, they're not even going after it yet. With so little notice, we should only be unable to, um, we would not only be unable to de deflect an asteroid, of course, we won't even be able to evacuate people expected to be affected by the impact. Our ability to detect asteroids before they impact the planet is still in its infancy. second stage due to happen in about 10 seconds from now. Here you see from the second stage camera is the DART spacecraft. We're going to listen to hear the call out and watch for DART separation. DART separation confirmed. And to those watching, you're witnessing a successful deployment of the DART spacecraft. The impact of the DART spacecraft with the small asteroid Dimorphos is scheduled to happen sometime between the end of September and early in part, in part because of limits set by the laws of physics. Surveying asteroids in the dark, dark of space in our solar system depends on them reflecting light towards us, and that depends on the direction of which of their approach relative to the sun and the phase of the moon. If they come at us from an angle where we can't see their approach, then they will strike without warning and have the potential to cause enormous damage 
Asteroid impacts are so powerful that when they occur over an ocean or remote parts of the planet, they are usually detected by equipment used to monitor secret nuclear testing. Now, I think this is a picture right here um, when it happened in Russia, when it went over. Thousands of buildings suffered damage from one asteroid in Russia. I believe that was Russia. But sometimes they occur in inhabited areas they are detected by the people actually affected by the impact. Back in 2013, a meteor exploded over an um, atmosphere near Chelbinks in Russia. Who knows how to say that? Please say it. Causing an enormous fireball scattering windows leading to potential more than a thousand people to seek medical treatment. Let me show you something over here too. I think this is the one I can go back and forth on. One of these I can go back and forth on. And anyways, I got the pictures. I'm going to show you in a minute. So, we're down here. Let's see. Now here I'm showing you Starshade technology from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Okay. And they can't say they can't project these out far enough to save the Earth. But, they can create this technology to actually hide it from you. It's called Starshade. You'll hear me talk about it. Some people call it the Sun Simulator. There's a combination of things going on. But the Starshade is pretty much a real thin, translucent, I think, uh, type of, I don't know, polymer, whatever, metal, or um, glass. Super thin. And it, the whole object of the game here is to hide objects that are going by so we don't freak out and that's what I've been showing you with the star machines so as you can see here uh, star shades the hard stuff is done external to telescopes so here's your sun the sun would naturally reflect you know on the asteroids showing us the asteroids and so what we do is we put star shade it's supposed to be uh, covering the sun so we can see the objects but what it's also doing, it's keeping the objects from you seeing the objects. So just to let you know, Starshade is something I didn't just make up. Um, the way they look at it is to cover the sun. And the way we look at it is to cover the objects. Because I'm showing you how many objects they're covering with these types of round flower type uh, diffusion in the sky. Like purple. It's usually purple or red. So let me go and show you one of them opening up um i love the uh channel alien disclosure whatever they showed the same video i caught in real time opening up the starshade and they called it a ufo so it was a ufo to me too but it looks like our technology or could be fallen angel technology as i usually call it so keep your eyes open keep watching you're going to understand what's happening now right here we're just showing you all the different types of uh, shades, laterals, and how they diffuse the sun. You know, and I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to try to actually explain that to you right there. But you can see the satellites pointing, adding sunlight to, and bringing all the, uh, you know, obfuscation through the whole sky. So you're seeing the rings and stuff, that's for real. And uh, we just seen it on NASA, going after the asteroid, right? We've seen two or three large red rings. I think it's all part of Starshade, personally, unless those are planets. And it doesn't matter what happens tomorrow, because we're still alive. God bless you. <laughs> so keep watching. I'm going to show you Starshade open up. So you also hear about this talk about blue beam and CGI on the cloud and the nano dust and the nanoparticles and TV screen in the sky can be changed to anything you want they want it to look like and I believe it's true right here the star shade shows you one of the things it also carries is CGI DI so it's, it's basically confused the clouds I think you know with the colors so anything's possible anything you're seeing out there is possible um, but you can see how they, they show you the, the circles, right? So get that. They don't have the money to detect a 
asteroid within days or weeks because there's so many of them but they do have the technology to put it behind a big old you know see-through sky lens aim the sun at it blur the heck out of it with light and then you know sun simulator and artificial lighting and it's just amazing that we all sit here and go wow what a beautiful sunset when it's totally red bloody like in california the other day so don't be surprised if you see a spaceship that's not even real park over your house because the revelation talks about false signs and wonders in the skies and fire coming down from the sky so it's going to be crazy get ready also uh, find out that russia has been blowing up some of the satellites testing a satellite buster you know and leaving all the debris up there to fall down on everybody eventually just heads up Now, some people report that the sun's been at a real low and, you know, it ain't putting out a lot of light. The Bible does talk about days of darkness. We could be experiencing them and not even knowing it. Um, but here we go. Man-made light. We call it the sun simulator, which is a jet propulsion invention. It's a lot similar. Um, I've showed it before. Jeff P's channel has a lot of footage on it. Uh, Jeff P channel. Check it out. Watch two or three videos and you'll get more understanding. But they're using the combination of these two devices um, and it just spreads out. It's like projected, so it looks huge, you know, but um, in reality, it's like the size of your garage, probably each thing, each object, each, each uh, satellite. And so what we get is these effects like this. And I'm trying to explain this in the best way I know. Um, I've watched it for five years and as I learned, I woke up to, wow. Now, if a lot of people did see the asteroids parts of the sun showing or the sun totally turned down to minimal it's coming back I heard this season and you know and I've showed you the asteroids behind the lens with all the glare and this is everything cleaned up you can see the doghouse cut out it's like a round curve and the sun simulated with the black dot so why is the sun got the black dot well there's your answer it's in this video right there I'm showing you and these objects these star shades, there's small ones, there's big ones. I showed you um, a number of them in that chart, different size ones. Now, what are these objects? I have no clue, but it's, you know, some of them I think are three or four different color lens. That's my take on it. We see stuff like that in different colors. I enhance it with filters, and you guys know I'm not cheating. But when we see like the blurry stuff beside the sun, people go, wow, it looks like something's beside the sun sticking out. It's these objects, it's these sun shields and these suns, you know. Um, is there planets? Yeah, they're hiding them. Is there moons? I think there's more asteroids that would be breathtaking, terrifying. The streets would go crazy. So praise God that they're doing something like this. But we need the understanding, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, um, it can't be any worse than all the news channels sharing all their lies. And variants and all that you know and so you know lies I'm not trying to lie I'm just trying to show you what I see in the sky as a watcher now the reason I do show you like pictures like dogman and and uh, ball and aliens is because it's all fallen angel okay evidence in the sky that we're fighting not against blood flesh and blood but against principalities power of spiritual wickedness in high places all these things are going on meanwhile man's tapping in on it and doing their little you know thing here and so i'm just showing it and uh trying to get you guys to understand it so you know i was saying here that they can't project what they want to project without a perfect crystal clean they can't you know it's, it's so so it says the signal of an x planet exoplanet so they need to see these exoplanet exoplanet or they're also called satellites and as you keep watching you see they have different size devices you know and this thing has been being created for probably for a hundred years we don't even know it 
there's a lot of lies we don't know. Who knows? You know, I'm just I'm just ranting right now, but there's different types of these devices that are around the sun star shade that can light up any minute. Have you ever seen me do a video where the thing lights up and then I do a time lapse and you see how much it really blinks? And then I slow it down. Sometimes I freeze frame it and you can see it turn all the way down to like a light bulb size. So you have to look through all my videos on sun machines and all, but you'll see a lot. You'll wake up to all this, whatever you want to call it, deception. That's what I call it. It's sin. It's evil. It's pure evil what they're doing. It's like hiding everything from everybody. Meanwhile, we're not supposed to go outside because of the, you know, the new variant. Why? Because they're hiding the skies. They don't want you to see what's going on. I'm just a guy that's brave enough to, I guess, report this. They've shut me down a couple times, but, you know, I'd rather have you guys know the truth. And the truth will make you free. And ultimately, the truth is Jesus Christ. You call on him, bow your knee, and say, I believe you, you know, rose from the dead. You died on a cross for my sins, and you're saved. This is stuff really happening, guys. So keep watching. Keep watching. You'll see what I'm talking about. supposed to impact this test mission until like sometime next year around this time of year in 2022 but this is different what I'm sharing with you right now let me minimize this this large asteroid reported by the official source of Jerusalem Post is actually they say passing by and heading spiraling towards Earth in late December 2018 AH is estimated to be around 190 meters long similar to the Tunguska asteroid meaning it would be far more powerful than a nuclear bomb. Now, of course, I think the last asteroids to hit Earth hit somewhere in Russia. And of course, we know allegedly what happened to the dinosaurs. An asteroid hit the Yucatan Peninsula, wiping out that species, or at least that's what we're told, even though they've changed that story multiple times. I mean, when I was growing up, they didn't even know that. And now they're telling us they're kind of rewriting what they think happened now. And now they're telling us that we potentially have an asteroid event that could be occurring in December. Okay, so I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm not saying that like this is gonna happen in a, in a few weeks at all. I'm just hypothesizing that I personally find it and have for years, and I've talked about it publicly, extremely, extremely alarming that the most connected, wealthy people on this planet that run space programs are all going to space, all trying to seed human civilization off it, are all highly, highly concerned and basically have a view that human beings can't survive more than like the next 100 or 200 years, which is not too long. And they are so pessimistic and they're putting all their wealth and all their money off this planet, which some have argued, well, why aren't you focusing on our own beautiful island here, planet Earth, and fixing this first?